Hey everyone, how are we doing today? It is a Thursday morning and I thought that today I would show you my work from home routine. Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, give or take, sometimes a little more than that. I have been working from home since July of 2020, so it's been over a year since I started working from home. My company does have four offices across the country, but I do not live near any of them, and I think I'm the only person at the company that lives in New York, so I am fully remote. You already saw this morning, I wake up in the morning around 6.45 or 7, and I go work out in my living room with my roommate Maggie. She does the workout with me. She also works from home full time, so we are kind of on the same schedule. If I'm feeling really crazy, I'll bike, but I did not do that this morning. Then I shower, get ready, feel all clean. My hair is literally half dried right now. Open up my laptop, check my email, see what's up, and then I go to the kitchen and I make my breakfast. I'm a creature of habit for sure, so I always eat like the same things all week. What I'm making today for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is what I've literally been eating every single day this week. For breakfast every morning, I usually just make a protein shake. It's literally just oat milk, peanut butter, and protein powder. That fills me up. I kind of hate breakfast. Um, so let's go make some breakfast. Oh, and I make a coffee, but that's just a given. Duh. Usually I start out by just making my protein smoothie and then I'll work a little bit and then maybe in like an hour I'll make my coffee. Maybe a little shorter than that if I'm feeling especially tired, which I kind of am today. and a meeting at three. I work for a company that in the fall, it gets very, very busy. So I have a lot to do, so I'm gonna focus a little bit, but I will talk to you when it's time for coffee in the next 30 minutes to an hour because it will be time for coffee very soon. I'm gonna start working. I'll talk to you guys later. Yesterday, I did a major cleaning of my room, like a purge. And I found these three shirts from a dance store that I worked at at the beginning of 2020 that I obviously no longer work at. And one of my friends just got hired there pretty recently. So I was like, do you want these shirts? So she just came and picked them up. I think now is a good time to make my coffee. My espresso machine has been a game changer for me. I was just getting like in such a rut with coffee. I know that sounds so dramatic. I was, I felt like every morning I was making coffee and I just like didn't really love it. Like I have a real coffee machine, so I would just make a pot of hot coffee and then put the rest in a pitcher for the rest of the week and then have iced coffee. This espresso machine, like it just tastes so good. It tastes so quality. And you know how much I would pay for this down the street at my local coffee shop? like $7. I actually found out my 11 o'clock meeting is not this week, it is next week. I'm gonna keep working and I'll talk to you guys at lunch. It's about lunchtime, which means Maggie and I get to go take out the trash. Watch out. <laughs> it's about one o'clock and now I'm going to make my lunch. 
Now, I have been eating the same thing for lunch literally every single day. It is a kale salad with apples, sweet potatoes, and cranberries. Sounds boring, but it's amazing. I've been buying this crispy kale slaw mix from Whole Foods and it is incredible. It has cabbage and carrots and kale in it. And then I do a Granny Smith apple. I do half of it and then I do half a sweet potato. So I already baked my sweet potato yesterday. So here's the rest of it. And then I make my own dressing. Lemon juice, agave, Dijon mustard, and salt and pepper. to say I also put hemp seeds in my salad. I don't really know the health benefits. I just know they're good for you. So I put them in, but I literally don't taste them. Honestly, when I mix the salad up, I don't even see it. So I just keep adding it to my salad because it's good for me. So now let's make the dressing. I like strictly associate this salad with work. Like I, when I'm not working, I do not make it. So I add the Dijon mustard, which we're running very low on. And I got it on my shirt. Then I add a little lemon juice olive oil, and salt and pepper. Oh, and agave. It's one o'clock and nine times out of 10, I just eat while I'm working because I don't really see a point in like sitting and staring at the wall while I eat when I could just get some work done, especially in August because it's our busiest time at our company. I still have a meeting at three, so I'm gonna have to do that, but I usually work until somewhere between five and six, just depending on how much work I have to do. I'll keep you updated if anything crazy happens, but this is kind of how it goes every single day. This chair I'm in, it ain't it. I mean, you literally can see like this chair. I sit like this every day. So this knee, I don't know why the other knee doesn't do it. I guess I just lean more this way. Presses against here. So this whole thing is broken. And you can see like there's a hole right here and there's literally metal coming out of it. I really need a real desk chair, but I just don't feel like buying one. I really don't. So now it's three o'clock. My meeting was actually at two, not three. My schedule has been so weird and I keep reading things wrong, but it's fine because I get notifications before my meetings. It was all good. The meeting was an hour long. I got a good shout out. So I'm in a pretty good mood now because I was not expecting that. I still have some things to do for work, but I just had to say this. It got so dark outside and you can literally hear the wind. It's so loud and the world just got like dark. Okay, well not a normal part of my work routine. This is kind of frightening. So the storm has passed, it's light outside again and I am done working. Like I said earlier, I finish working every day between five and six. I feel like working from home, you have to set boundaries. You have to find this divide between am I working because I'm sitting in my room or am I relaxing because I'm sitting in my room. When your office and your room are in the same place, it can get a little overwhelming. I think I was pretty bad at it last year, but I now am telling myself it's okay to take a break. It's okay to stop working at six when everyone else does. It's totally okay. I'm super grateful for working at home. It came to me at a time when I did not think that I wanted to go back out into the world yet and work in retail or food service. Sometimes it's hard, it feels a little isolating, but honestly, I never worked in an actual office, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, so I don't really get that down about it. And now that my roommate Maggie is working from home too, we're kind of on the same schedule, so it's like we're in a little office together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.